What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to Football Game Plans Talking with TD. I'm your host, Teron Davenport. Okay, so talking with TD, we are going to continue the draft jam. And we're bringing in a lot of guys that you may not have heard of now, but you'll hear of later on as they progress in their NFL career. We're going to go to Pittsburgh State, and we're going to bring in cornerback Devontae Busby. Devontae, how you doing, man? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm doing really well. And, you know, you're a very intriguing prospect, so I wanted to get you on because you watch the film, there's a lot of athletic ability that, that I see when I watch you. The size is something that's interesting also. The program has you at 6'2", 179. Where are you, you weighing in at nowadays? Right about now, I'm a buck 85, so I'm, okay. I'm getting up there. Okay, cool. So has have you made a, a conscious effort to, to gain some weight since the end of your, your season? Yes, sir. Um you know, you got guys telling you uh, you want to be light uh, for your pro day so you can run faster. But I believe I can run. I can still run faster with a little bit more weight at it. So it's been a priority to uh, put some weight on this all season. What's the target weight? I know your pro day is in a couple of weeks. What do you? What's your target to, to weigh in at? My target weight is 185 plus. So as long as I don't get under 185, I think I'll be, I'll be solid. Okay, so let's talk about the athletic ability. Like I said, that pops out. When I watch you, I saw a video that has you an absurd, a crazy standing vertical. Where do you think you're going to come in at on the vertical jump, the 40s and, and all that? What are you looking to, to show them in those drills? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to throw any numbers out there. I plan to, I plan to run real fast and jump real high. There you or go. The numbers, my, my trainer, um, my trainer uh, Joseph Potts. Down his top speed performance in the Mexico, Kansas. He doesn't really uh, tell me my numbers, but um, uh, but he does tell me they're pretty good. But I plan to jump high and to burn real fast, so that's the plan for now. So, as a corner in the NFL, you know, or a draft prospect, if you were in a draft evaluator, what would you say would be the ideal time for a, a corner to run? Uh, four four range is. Uh, Probably average and none lower than a, a, a low four five, and above average, of course, is a four three. Right now, do you feel that the short shuttle is something that really displays a, a corner's ability to change direction? Oh yes, sir. And I, uh, I, I love the short shuttle too. So, uh, so around that eight, around that um, for that uh, drill, I think above average is a three nine, and the four zero oh, four one is average. So. Yeah, I, I know the numbers. I know the times of beating and everything. I'm definitely paying attention to it. And I, I plan on I plan on being above average, above average in most of these of uh, uh, pro day drills. See, I like guys like yourself. You do the research and you're aware of where you need to come in, rather than just going out there and and, and doing what you do. You you have goals, and, and that's I think that's really good because that gives you checkpoints on your path towards the the whole draft and everything. So that's good. Let's talk a little bit about just, just your ability as a corner. I mean, like I said, the athletic part of it pops out. But what do you bring to the table? I mean, there's listeners that they haven't seen you play. So what type of corner are you? What What's your attributes? What's your, your best thing that you bring? Uh, I bring length, first of all. And, um, I'm, I'm 6'1", 6'2". And I also believe I bring consistency. I can play, I can play inside and outside. I believe I excel in press coverage. I like to shadow the receivers and run with them, throw a little gem in there every once in a while. And, uh, just being a ball hawk, too, when the ball's in the air, if I'm not coming down with it, then nobody is just having that mentality. I noticed that you had some a couple sacks in your career also, some tackles for law. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How I, like, did you... I like to believe I'm versatile, playing inside. Uh, if I'm not uh, in coverage, I'm doing zone drops. If I'm not doing zone drops. I'm playing a nickel. I'm uh, blitzing the quarterback, and uh, it's, it's, it's become a favorite for me. Nice. Now you talked about liking the press. 
what, what is it that you do in press coverage? Do you rely on your long arms, or do you? Well, what's your what's your best thing in, in press? And, and just take me through the whole process of redirecting the receiver at the line of scrimmage. Uh, I believe I'm a conservative player, so I'm frequently patient with my gym. I don't think I overextend. But I, I kind of allow the receiver to enter my contact area, and then I ride inside hip down the field by, like, while I sustain my position. And as far as off man, I weave with him. I flip my hips and run vertically when I have to. Uh, press man, like I said, I'm right off the line of scrimmage, and I, I believe I can do that same thing when I'm playing slot when I'm playing inside. Interesting. So you went to high school in Kansas City. <laughs> uh, interesting. So I'm sure the Chiefs that that has to be a team that that you've kept your eye on. Uh, growing up, was, were there any particular teams that you always liked a, a favorite team or favorite player? Uh, growing up in Kansas, Missouri, I definitely watched the Chiefs a lot, but I really didn't have a favorite team. I had favorite players though. Um, you can go Sean Taylor. Uh, now Eric Berry, you know Eric Berry. Uh, he's taking some time out now. Uh, safety. I like I like the safety position. Guys like Eric Berry, Sean Taylor, mean guys, not afraid to hit, et cetera, et cetera, good in coverage and all that. I like guys like that. It's funny you mentioned the the the, the word mean and you use that adjective because it seems like almost every corner that I talk to, they they have a, a well the good ones I'll say that they have a mean streak to them. Why is it so important to have that mean streak when you're out there on that island? Tell, tell the listeners about that, you know, why you have to have that mentality. Just being on, on that side of the football, I've been on the defensive side of the football, it's just got to be different mentally. you got to have that, that switch, you got to flip. And when you're on that game field, you got to be mean, you got to be competitive, you got to uh, take the disrespect to somebody in your area and thinks they're going to get something done, your island or whatever. So you got to have that tough mentality. Uh, playing that side of the ball, playing that position on the football field, and take it as just expect that somebody thinks they're going to come in and make something happen on you. So, circling back to high school, you were all state at receiver, also. Talk about the advantage of being able to play receiver well enough to be all state, so you know the position. Talk about the the advantage of knowing the receiver position and how that helps you as a defensive back. It helps tremendously. Um, press man, uh, when I mirror the receiver off the line, if you kind of get a feel for the release. You kind of already know what's going what's to happen before it even happens. Um, then off man, when I'm weaving and ready to change direction, going based off the receiver, just by him stemming you up, you kind of already know which way he's going to go. So it, playing receiver in high school or, or all my life until I got to college definitely helped. It's uh, route recognition and everything. Coming out of high school, all state guy, both sides of the field. Were there other schools offering, or was Pitt State the only one? Tell me about your transition from high school into college. Um, I had a couple of uh, Division One AA's um, uh, in the middle of my senior season, but uh, academically, my grades went always uh, wasn't always there. Um, I did a boys' job for second grade series in high school, so. Um, I had to take the Division Two route, you know. Pittsburgh State was my first offer, and then I had uh, a few other schools in the uh, Pittsburgh State's conference uh, offer me as well, but I chose Pittsburgh State. I fell in love with the coaches. I felt like their love was genuine. The story tradition, the, the winter tradition, the fans, everything, right. academics, I fell in love with. Then the, me, um, I played right away coming out of high school. I played my true freshman year, and that's the year we won a, a national championship. The gang speed was, of course, it was quicker. But I I, uh, I came to Pittsburgh State this summer before my freshman year and uh, did a lot of seven on seven and other drills like that and I felt like I got accustomed to the speed. That's all it, that's all I need to get accustomed to the game speed and, and the transition wasn't that big for me. And, uh, but the, definitely the athletes, the receivers, that was a big jump from high school. But game speed was pretty pretty uh, decent for me. I noticed you also you majored in marketing, so. I think it's safe to say whatever academic, quote-unquote, academic issues that the world coming out of high school have been solved because I'm a marketing major, and I, I know that, you know, that when I was taking those classes and getting my marketing degree, 
there were a lot of difficult classes. You know, it's not like you take a swimming pool management or something like that. You actually had to apply yourself in class. So I think that's a good thing. And that's honorable because it shows that, that you're able to take something that, that may be looked upon as a weakness and turn it into a strength. So I definitely want to shout you out on that. As far as, as far as, um, teams, you know, are you generating any interest? Do you have some teams looking at you that, that are going to be at your pro day? Uh, I have my pro day, my agent, I haven't asked my agent, my agent told me, uh, last time I talked to him, there should be at least six or seven teams there for me. And we have, like, we have, uh, about three other guys, Spencer Brown, Kiki Terry, Gavin Levin. They, uh, uh, he told me they should bring a few guys out as well, so we should get a good number there. But, uh, the teams I talked to at the beginning of my, uh, senior season, uh, I believe it's San Francisco, Kansas City, St. Louis, Carolina, Baltimore, Tennessee, Houston, Chicago, Green Bay, Seattle, and Tampa Bay. I have a great job Okay, I like that. So you, you talked to uh, some teams that lost some corners. San Francisco lost a couple, so I'm sure they could use a guy like yourself. Definitely. The Ravens, that's a press team, so uh, you know that's, that's another good option. So I'm glad you, you brought that up. Between now and and your pro day, like you said, it, it's in a couple of weeks. Is that where is that pro day going to be? Pro day will be at Pittsburgh State. Okay, so it's going to be at the school. All right. Now between now and then, is there anything in particular you're working on? Or are you just going through the training? Or are you have you changed your diet in order to to maintain the six pounds that you put on? Uh, definitely changed my diet. Uh, and now we got two weeks so. Uh, my pro day is on a Thursday, so that, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of that week will be my off days. So every day until then, I'll be going hard, finishing up, perfecting uh, my technique, and continue to do uh, the drills I, I'll be doing to increase my jumping ability, you know, a faster 10 yard split, a faster shuttle, faster 40, all that and others. So I definitely will be going hard off until that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of uh, the week of my pro day. Now, a lot of times guys have to tell a scout or tell a personnel person three games. You know, they'll ask you, hey, listen, Devontae, tell me three games that really show you as a player. What three games w- would you point to if someone was to ask you that? Uh, my junior year, oh, man, I got I got about six games. It's like perfect. <laughs> but this past season, I'll probably say um, – uh, we played in Porter State, uh, Missouri Western, and probably uh, Northeastern State University. I uh, felt like I played pretty decent when, uh, when I did get some balls thrown my way. So other than that, I, other than that, I had some games where I got some balls thrown my way, but not too many. So I'll probably say those three games. Okay, cool. Definitely appreciate you you bringing those up. All right. Well, hey man, it was great talking to you. I'm glad we we're able to get you on. Um, do you have any social media or anything like that where the listeners could, could follow what you're doing? Uh, the only social media I have as of now is just Twitter. And, um, my name on Twitter is the glove 14 I like uh, Gary Payne was one of my favorite players growing up. And <laughs> I think the glove, using that name was uh, pretty, pretty it's cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a basketball background at all? Did you, did you play basketball in high school? Uh, I'll play I'll play, I'll play next year I'll play defense, defense. Right. So. <laughs> Hey well you know what happens man Football players that, that play basketball Tend to be defensive specialists You know because of the high energy And the athleticism So I, yeah. I, I can't knock you for that one Devontae I appreciate you coming on Definitely like I say I want to I get back with you After the, uh, the pro day And um, let's take it from there Alright thank you Alright thanks man That wraps up this edition of Talking with TD. Be sure to check out all of my interview segments at footballgameplan.com slash talkingwithTD. If you have any questions or people you want me to sit down with, hit me up on Twitter at tdavenport underscore NFL.